Hi, this is Nick Horrocks. Welcome to Cyber Digital Media Final Cut Pro Tutorials. As I've said in earlier tutorials, I'm going to try and keep these uh, short and simple, and this should only take a few minutes of your time. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this clip using the Incyber background called Blue Horizon and one of the Incyber digital mats along with a stock shot of a London skyline courtesy of LondonStockFootage.com So, where do we start? OK. First of all, we'll make a new sequence and uh, call that Tutorial or Tut. OK, so what we'll do is uh, just select the background clip there so copy that and we'll drop it straight onto our new uh, sequence so just paste that in there now that's come through I think the sequence default is set to an HD setting so we need to just quickly load a sequence preset and we'll use um, that one okay okay that fits so what we've got there is the essence of our background um, which started off, let me just uh, show you I think it's started off looking like that and uh, what we've done is and what we've done there is filter that with a gradient colorize uh, from black to white um, and also we've put a slight glow on it and if I take those off you'll see the effects so that's the gradient going on very high contrast and dazzle just gives us a little bit of a glow which is sort of quite an interesting contrasty effect uh, just zoom into that so now what we need is our, our blue horizon clip and that looks like that um, drop that onto the timeline. What we'll, we'll be using one of the composite modes to affect that and so just select that and we'll use the overlay composite mode. Now you'll see that that bright light is going through the middle now. Now as this is an HD clip, this in Cyber Backgrounds HD, it means we can play with it a bit more. So we can take the size up without any degradation. If we go to 75% it will allow us to drop that horizon line onto the horizon. Just drop it down there a bit. And that's essentially our background. Okay, so now what we need to do, go back to the playhead, is to bring our digital mat in. We're using digital mat 4 now. There are a series of 6 in the library at the moment and it's uh, just a nice simple move through the frame. Which goes like that. Quite useful when you're talking about data or any IT related subjects, digital matters. So we'll pop that on there, take it back to there. Now that's going to do nothing at the moment until we apply again uh, one of the composite modes. And what we're going to apply there is the subtract. Now there is a method to my madness here. This has obviously gone to black as you'd expect but what, what I want to do is pop that layer on there again with a different composite mode and I'm going to use this black one as a sort of glow around the uh, the digits. I'll show you. So for this one we'll be using the add mode. Okay now what we need to do is blur up the background because you can see up here the the d digits are disappearing into the sky so what we're going to do with that is just to give it a, a little blur so we'll go and pick up a, a Gaussian blur there and set that to about set that to 10 
and that will give us a nice glow around the, those digits and you know, they become more visible against the sky there in, in the top right corner okay well that's it let's um, pop a bit of music on there let's just uh, we'll just copy that clip from there and paste that in okay so now we'll render that and uh, have a look at the results so there we are all rendered let's have a look at that well, there you go quite a simple way of getting a nice techno background Another look. So I hope you found that helpful and we'll see you again hopefully next time. Thanks for watching.